Gather around, children. Nugget wrote Lily a love letter. No, Nugget. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Nugget's letter is only to be read by the pretty Lily. Oh, he's so sweet. The pretty Lily. Nugget likes the pretty Lily. He also misses her brother, Billy. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to Kindergarten. Now I know my voice still isn't quite right, but I really wanted to get back to this game today. I know a lot of people are enjoying watching it on YouTube, I have had a ton of fun playing it, and because of that, I know if I wait a week or two to get back to it, people are going to end up watching it on other people's channels, and then I'm going to be the one to miss out. So today, we are going to be taking a look at my favorite character in this game by far, today is Nugget's story. So last episode, we did Jerome's quest, and it unlocked for us a key mold to the principal's office. It says if I take it to Monty, he should be able to get it made for me for a price. Now, I don't know what that price is, but I don't think it's relevant to Nugget's story, because we don't know of anything in the principal's office that Nugget wants. We haven't done a whole lot with Nugget, but I do remember on the very first day, the first time that you speak to him, he mentions that he doesn't really have any friends, he doesn't really know love, and he asks for a tribute. And it says, for Cindy's flower, perhaps I should show it to somebody who needs a little love in their life. Now, I thought that that would be for Lily because she's getting picked on, she's a girl, that's usually the kind of person that a guy would give a flower to, but maybe Nugget would like a flower. So we're going to bring that to school with us. And I also know from the comments last episode that we're going to need a lot of money. I think the piggy bank can only hold $10 and it's pretty easy to get money in this game. So I might just take all of it. I was about to say that it's really weird that bugs can smell money on kids, but at the same time, it's probably the most normal thing going on in this entire school. Let's be perfectly honest, and we're not going to fight him. I don't want to get beat up. I don't want to tell the teacher, right? No, I'm not going to tell the teacher. We're just going to give him the money. He's going to take it no matter what, but this way I don't get beat up, and I don't know if we need him for Nugget's story. I get the feeling there's a higher chance that we need him than we need him suspended. So I can restart if I'm wrong, but right now we're just going to leave him be, give him the $5, and go talk to Nugget. Hi, my friends call me Nugget, or they would if I had any. I could do a crackly voice right now, it fits very well. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. I'll be your friend. What is your offering? I have a flower. This was given to you by Cindy, yes? There is great love in this flower. She really cares for you more than the other seven boyfriends she's had this week. I feel so special. Perhaps you do know love. Perhaps. He kind of sounds like a Kermit the Frog that's been stepped on a little bit too much. <laughs> there are things Nugget has seen, but is told to forget. Nugget forgot love. I do not wish to forget anymore. Take this nugget of friendship. What? So somebody has been telling Nugget to forget things? Have you seen stuff, Nugget? With a face like that, I want to say that you've seen some messed up shit. Why? Bring together the other nuggets of friendship by recess and Nugget will reveal all. How many are there? There are five total, one you already have. Come see me during morning time and Nugget will tell you how to get more. Nugget, I don't want to go on an Easter Nugget hunt. That sounds really gross, I'm not gonna lie, but I'll do it for you. Oh, what? One last thing, Nugget insists you hold on to this strange device. Should you succeed in this task, Nugget will reveal to you what it is. Uh, pretty sure we saw that last episode. Nugget just gave me a bomb. Okay, what if I fail? Nugget will still reveal what it does. Great. Okay, are you gonna blow me up, Nugget? I really don't want you to blow me up. No more talking now, shoo. Okay, but the blowing me up thing, can we just briefly touch on that? I guess that's really all I need right now. I don't know what I need my money for. Um, did you have anything different for sale? Right, I wanna buy something. Uh, yo-yo, cigarettes, voice recorder. Would we need the voice recorder for this? I haven't seen any indication of it. I don't want to waste my money just yet. I think it's better to kind of go through the story, screw up, find out what you need, and then restart. So right now, we're just going to sell off our apples. Okay, children, it's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. So now, he should be telling us how to get more nuggets. I mean, there's one in his cubby. But uh, the teacher doesn't like it when we go in there, right? Okay, we're gonna go find a morning partner. Nugget, you're gonna be my partner. I don't know why, man, they don't even give you a desk. 
Nugget's friend returns. <laughs> Does he wish to continue on his quest to receive the five nuggets of friendship? Sure, it's not even yes, it's just sure. Nugget is pleased with your persistence. One of the nuggets is hidden within this room. Yeah, hidden. Nugget holds the other. You must find the hidden nugget before you can get the one Nugget holds. Okay, um, can I get a hint? The classroom is not that big. You would do well to search in many areas, perhaps in the little cubbies, but beware, teacher does not like snoopers. Okay, so if I try to grab this, there's an explosive in somebody's cubby. That must be... Uh, Monty's, I guess? The one that they used on the janitor last episode? Hey, don't go snooping around in other people's cubbies. Okay. So we need a distraction. I might be able to do something similar to last episode. If I get the yo-yo from Monty, I might be able to get Jerome to distract the teacher, but I'm not entirely sure. Do you have anything to say, Nugget? Have you found the second Nugget of Friendship? No, the teacher, you, you even told me that she's not going to let me search the cubbies. Ah, yes. Poor teacher, always so on edge. Perhaps you could give her something to take the edge off? Or maybe a brief distraction is all she truly needs. How would I take the edge off? How would I distract her? Uh, how do I take the edge off? Teacher is quite fond of Nugget's pills. Perhaps you could share some with her. You may have one for a dollar. Okay, so you're essentially a drug dealer named Nugget. Uh, why do you have pills? That's probably a dumb question. He looks like the kind of kid that wakes up in the morning and eats a bowl full of pills. Okay, you know what? Sure, why not? There we go, we got a pill. Do you want a pill? Go find a morning buddy, or you'll be an outcast loser like Nugget. You know what? Nugget gave me a pill for you. You can't go and call him a loser. That's not cool. He's a nice guy. Oh, dibs gulp. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. Don't worry about it. Teacher will oh, do whatever about it. Run along and play. Okay, you're welcome. Very good. Okay, so now maybe she doesn't really care. Uh, hey, don't go snooping around in... Uh, you know what? I don't really care. Do what you want. Okay, uh, doink. Right? This is Nugget's Cubby. There appears to be a Nugget of some sort in... Wait, if this is Nugget's Cubby, why can't he just take it out of his own Cubby? Why is he making me do this? Why did I drug a teacher and pay him when he could have just... Oh my god, Nugget, you're such a weirdo. Okay, you know what? I, I'm starting to understand why you get the shitty end of the stick all the time. I now have two cold pocket Nuggets. I did find it. Here you go. Wonderful, Nugget is impressed. The trial of the cubbies is normally very difficult for Nugget's potential friends. So he's making me go through the trials to be his friend. And he told me exactly what to do and had everything I needed. Okay, sure, not gonna question it. What's next? Do you see the pretty lily over there? Nugget likes the pretty lily. Nugget has written the pretty lily a pretty poem. You are to deliver it to her. Okay. Oh, I don't want to give you a letter. I'm a postman now. All right, here you go. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my morning buddy, but he's missing. Yeah, I already know. Okay, here. I have a letter from Nugget. Just take it. Look, no offense, but I don't really trust you or Nugget enough to even think about opening that. Oh, what? Tell him I said thanks, but no thanks. Oh, so this is yellow. I don't trust you or Nugget enough to even think about opening that. So I need to earn her trust at some point before I give it to her? Okay then. Assignment failed. Damn. I can't do anything else right now. I've talked to all of the kids. Nothing is different. So I must have had to do something before class started. It's like I said, that's how this game is going to be. We're going to have to restart. So let's reset the day and see if there's something I can do with Lily to earn her trust before we go on the Nugget quest. All right, Lily, what have you got to say? Probably a bunch of annoying stuff about your brother. Yeah, I haven't heard about Billy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Cindy has been trying to put gum in my hair. Okay, so that's in yellow right now for a reason. I don't know if that's her story or Nugget's story, but uh, she's really mean. Yeah, okay, so maybe if I get the gum from her and then don't put it in her hair, so yeah, I'll be your boyfriend, uh, what do you want me to do? I'll take the gum, right? Okay. And then if I go talk to you, but I don't put it in your hair, what happens? Yeah, I know, okay. I wouldn't try being friends with Cindy. She can be pretty mean, yeah, I know. 
She gave this to you? Wow, she can't even do her own dirty work. I'm ugly enough without having gum in my hair, so thanks for not doing that. You're not ugly at all. Oh, thanks. I guess Cindy has been getting to me lately. I appreciate the compliment. You are nice. Oh, I feel really good about that, especially after dumping all of that blood on her in the first episode. Still feel really bad about that. People weren't super pleased. I, I gotta go through all of their stories, guys. I'm sorry. We'll try to make it up to Lily. Almost forgot her name for a second. As soon as possible. Right now, not putting gum in her hair. It's a good start. Um, I'm not really looking to be friends right now, but I do trust you. For whatever that's worth, I'll see you around. She trusts me enough to open a nugget love letter. I'm gonna have to make an episode at some point where we don't actually do any story because if I use this technique but I don't continue with the story, like if I don't get the nugget, we could get money, a card, the magnifying glass, what looks like a knife, or the explosive on the far left behind my head, I'm not totally sure. Okay, nugget, yeah, it's done. I found the nugget, yeah, we're good, here you go. And then you're gonna give me another one and then I need to bring this over to you, right? And now, Lily, you like me, we're friends, you trust me. I'm glad you were so nice to me this morning and all, but I'm not really looking for a morning buddy right now. So she's warming up to me a little bit, but I do have a letter from Nugget that I need you to take. Oh, I didn't know that he was capable of having complex emotions. <laughs> it's still a sweet gesture. I just wish I could read it. Oh, right. You're in kindergarten. You might not be able to read. I never thought about that. I guess I'll go ask the teacher to read it for me so they can like figure out bombs, get murdered by janitors, and all of the complex stuff that they do, but they can't read? Really? Okay, cool. I mean, Nugget can write. He's apparently the smartest kid in the- Whoa, hold on. Nugget is the smartest kid in the class? Oh no, what is she doing? Is she getting the teacher to read it to her? Did I miss that? Um, Miss Applegate? Yes, Lily, what is it? Nugget just gave me this love letter and I was wondering... Oh, gather around children. Nugget wrote Lily a love letter. No, Nugget. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Nugget's letter is only to be read by the pretty Lily. Oh, he's so sweet. The pretty Lily. Nugget likes the pretty Lily. He also misses her brother, Billy. I can't laugh right now. Please, you're gonna make my throat fall out my ass. No more. Please do not continue. I'm with Nugget on this one. Nugget likes the Lily's hair. Nugget likes to smell her chair. Oh, Nugget, you're smart and perverted. I love you. Nugget, do we need to schedule another trip to the school counselor? This is getting pretty weird. <laughs> Nugget thinks you should stop then. Mm-hmm. Maybe just a few more lines. Oh my God, you're such a bitch. Nugget said no. Okay, okay, fine, weirdo as you were children. I know that their faces don't actually change, but Nugget's face is just perfect for right now. He's just like, oh God, just screw me. Please, please stop, no. Well, Lily, you might've screwed me there. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you were supposed to do that. Well, that was mortifying. Please go away. Maybe don't have the teacher read out a love letter, you idiot. Okay then, um, Nugget, I don't suppose you hate me, do you, buddy? Uh, gah. Ugh. Uh, I delivered the letter. Nugget noticed. <laughs> Sorry it happened like that, man. Don't shoot the messenger. That was less than ideal. Still, you deliver the letter as you said you would. For that, you have earned the third nugget of friendship. This is like a really bad Lord of the Rings. Hooray! Come join Nugget at lunch and you will be told how to continue your quest. Okay. So I'm gonna guess that that's all that we have to do here today. I cannot believe we've learned so much about Nugget already. Okay, kids, that's the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I heard that we're having slop today. How exciting. All right, Nugget, I'm not gonna lie. I love you, but if I need to eat a biscuit, it's over. I'm ending the episode right now. Are you ready to continue your quest for the Nugget of Friendship? Sure, I guess. Excellent, it should happen any minute now. What should happen? I have an explosive in my pocket. That's not the kind of thing you want to say to a kindergartner with an explosive in his pocket. Oh. Oh, he's just gonna flick slop at him. Okay. So it is a good thing that I didn't get Bug suspended or else he wouldn't have done that, right? Is that a good thing? That. Every single day, Bugs throws nasty slop at poor Nugget. But today, Nugget has a new potential friend. 
potential. What am I supposed to do about it? All Nugget needs from you is to make sure he eats this. Do this simple task and the next Nugget of Friendship is yours. Um... Oh, he gave me like a rotten Nugget. What did you do to this Nugget? Nugget poisoned it! You want me to kill Bugs? Obviously, Bugs is a bully. He must be taught a lesson. You don't really learn a lesson when you die. You need to survive to learn. That's kind of how evolution works, right? Okay, if you say so. Hey, Bugs, I noticed that you're actually missing about a fistful of your lunch. Maybe I could supplement it with a uh, delicious nugget. Uh, no way a worm like you is going to be sitting next to me. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? Believe it or not, it's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something that you gave me? Because you're poor and you need the food. Shots fired. Uh, cause otherwise you'll look like a sissy. Okay, this one has an apple. I'm gonna assume that I need to do this one. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy? Cause I won't eat a stupid nugget. Um... Whose opinion would you care about? Maybe Jerome? Right, he's the cool kid. And you're sitting with him. I can't imagine he would really care about anybody else. Okay, Jerome. Jerome is always coming up with stupid competitions. Whatever. I'll show him. Munch. You sure showed him. I'm just going to get out of the way before you explode or keel over or whatever. Okay, Nugget, the deal is done. I am now an assassin, apparently. He ate it. Excellent. This pleases Nugget greatly. Did he just vomit and keel over in his own vomit? Now we just wait for him to... Oh, there he goes. You have earned this Nugget of friendship. Yes, sir. I can safely say that I never thought I would murder a kindergartner for a chicken nugget. Your hole is looking great, Nugget, but I'm not gonna lie, I get the feeling Billy fell down it. Right, Billy went missing. Some people actually think that he was murdered by the principal, which is interesting. People noticed, I didn't notice, that last episode there was blood and claw marks in the principal's office. Doesn't really surprise me, considering he shot us, but that that's a possible explanation, or maybe Nugget killed him. I can't really be sure. I'm really hoping that being his friend doesn't mean he's going to push me down the hole. So, it has come to this. Nugget's friend prepares himself to seek the final Nugget of friendship. Yup. Do you still possess the strange device Nugget gave to you upon the start of your quest? This thing? Nugget has a simple request regarding the device. Oh, what is it? Give the device to Nugget. Uh, okay? Why did he just put it over there? Are you gonna blow another hole in the sandbox? There, now we may speak of the device. Why did you put it over there? The device listens, it knows what Nugget says, and if it does not like what it hears, it explodes. Oh. So, it's not like a remote device. They were mentioning that last episode. Monty was saying that it's the principal, like, listening in to the students. Um, so what do we do with it? We must convince it to explode, but we must do so properly. Uh, do you see the statue of the principal over there? It watches us, much like the device does. Oh, I was wondering why it has red eyes on a statue. Really weird. So maybe the two are linked? Uh, what, we're going to blow up the statue? No, no, silly. You're going to blow up the statue. Thanks, Nugget. How? Put the device behind the statue once you have done that. Talk to the pretty Lily about poor Billy. The device does not like it when you talk about poor Billy. Oh. Maybe the principal doesn't want people talking about Billy. Okay, I got it. So you're going to give it to me? Good luck. Return here when it is done. Alrighty then. So we'll just go put this behind you. This is a statue of the principal. There is a red glint in its eyes. Place the device. Okay, so that's in place. Now we can talk to you. I know he did it. I don't know why, but I know he did it. The principal took Billy. So if I just yell that out, the principal sets off the bomb to kill the student that is just clued into things, I guess? This is ridiculous. Uh, what have you done? We're gonna get in so much trouble. I hope you have a plan. Um, maybe? Saying this out loud makes me realize how much of a mistake this has been, but Nugget was the guy making the plans. So, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. Oh my good golly gosh, why the heck did you two blow up the statue of the principal 
he's going to be furious. What? You think I did this? It was all him. He blew up the statue. You can't expect me to believe that, can you, Lily? You spend all day out here staring at that silly thing and your feelings toward the principal aren't exactly kind. So the reasonable assumption is that the kindergartners blew up a statue. Got it. Okay. No, this is so unfair. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sorry, Lily, but you're gonna have to go get the principal to believe you go to his office. Oh, no. No, but, but I go as for you young man oh my god i have screwed over lily in every single story she's definitely gonna get killed by the principal right i i'm sorry okay next episode if it's possible we will try to help lily okay i promise i don't want to see you become as bitter as lily towards our principal just give me one reason not to send you to his office and you're off the hook that's why I needed to bring the $10 with me. You guys told me I need all of my money. I didn't know why if I brought, yeah, 10, half is five, so I would have been able to bring enough to pay you off, apparently. Works for me. <laughs> now go run along and enjoy the rest of recess. So I get off scot-free for $5 and she's gonna go get shot in the head. That seems fair. Okay, Nugget, this is your doing. You screwed Billy, I assume. You screwed Lily, for sure. You have done well to blow up the statue. Take this final Nugget of friendship and know that you are truly Nugget's friend. It is time for you to enter the Nugget Cave in its true form. What is a Nugget Cave? I'm ready? Excellent, but first Nugget must do something. Oh. What? What? Oh. He's going to empty hundreds of nuggets into his hole. There, now we are ready. Why did you just drop all those nuggets into the hole? Where did you just get all of those nuggets? I know it's your name, but still. What? So we do not die upon landing. Nuggets nuggets are as squishy as they are tasty. Oh, that's right. Students were dying when they jumped into it last time. Now please enter the nugget cave. Okay? <laughs> what is this? Welcome to the Nugget Cave. Behold, it's nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. Uh, okay. That's a dead dog, right? That looks like a dead dog, Nugget. Oh, the little doggy. Nuggy forgot Nuggy. I didn't even mean to do that, but that's a great nickname for him. Little Nuggy. Nugget forgot that was there. Uh, is it dead? Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I don't really want that right now. There's a card here. I think uh, yeah, I don't want to use my energy just yet on stuff like that. What does this sign say? Ah, yes, the mysterious sign of ominousness. It says, let he who brings the 25 talismans release the greatest of all evils upon the world. 25 talismans. Are there 25 cards in this game? Am I going to release some kind of ancient evil from the Nugget Cave? I really hope that's true. Okay, that's creepy. I don't have any option to do that. Uh, what the hell is this? That is a memorial for Nugget's good friend, Billy. The flowers have started to die, much like Nugget's hope that he will ever see Billy again. Okay, so it's a memorial to Billy, but he did not fall down here. Billy is not buried there. I, I, that's what I take away from it. I hope. Nugget misses Billy very much. Okay, what if we put, yeah, because we needed the flower. What if we use it here? Will that help us finish your story, or should I have taken the dog? Please do not leave things on Nugget's, oh, you... You're leaving a flower that is quite, quite nice. Do you miss Billy as much as Nugget? Sure, yeah, I, I never met him. He was the only one before you who found the five Nuggets of friendship. He, Nugget, Nugget can't do this anymore. Do what? Oh my God, Nugget's crying. What? Do what, Nugget? Billy told Nugget many things before he went missing. Nugget took the principal's pills to help forget. But Nugget does not wish to forget anymore. So, 
The explosive was a backup. The principal has been giving those pills, the one that we gave the teacher to Nugget, so that he would forget everything that happened. Nugget knows what happened to Billy. What do you know? The pills have already done their work. Nugget does not know anything anymore, but Billy gave Nugget something, something that may help you find, or may help you know what Nugget forgot. Okay. Uh, Nugget left it in his cubby. Nugget will present it to you after show and tell. Just get through the rest of the day and Nugget will find you after school. Okay, so that was yellow. Really hoping that I do not die before the end of school. That is the bell. We must depart from the Nugget Cave. I will see you again soon. Okay, so we have show and tell. Oh, crap. I only have Nuggets. Will a Nugget do? Is she going to send me to the principal's office for showing off a Nugget? Uh, I don't know. Is that a chicken nugget? Why are you showing that to me? Uh, it is one of Nugget's nuggets. It means this is one of Nugget's friends. That is oddly true. Right, I hope you know what you're getting into. Being Nugget's friend can be challenging. Yeah, you don't say. You just sit there jiggling all day. I had to go find five nuggets throughout the school. Anyway, who's next? Someone with something more interesting than a nugget, please. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, thank God. Am I in the clear? I think we're good. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yes. Didn't die. Made it through the day. I don't know how I could have failed there. Maybe if I showed her something I wasn't supposed to. Nugget is ready to give to you what Billy gave to Nugget. What is it? I don't know what it is. It is a mysterious note. Nugget can read, but cannot understand the words left behind by poor Billy. Right, he can read and write. He did the love letter. Smartest kid in class. Who would have... I honestly can't even say that without laughing, and laughing hurts. But who would have guessed that Nugget is the smartest... Oh, he's crying again. Nugget, I'm sorry. You're covered in slop and tears. W what do I do with it? Uh, the pretty Lily is quite upset over Billy's disappearance. Perhaps she would know what to do. Good, because I wanted to do Lily's quest next, and if I need that, then I might be able to do it. But she can't read, so what is the note going to do for her? Uh, Nugget is quite happy to have a friend again. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, now I feel really bad that the day is going to restart and we're not actually going to be Nugget's friend moving forward, but we did get Billy's note, which will hopefully help us get to the mystery of what happened to Billy, and why the principal and janitor keep killing people. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Kindergarten, guys. And once again, I apologize if my voice is taking away from some of these videos lately. You know, I know it's not for everybody, but I, I would rather upload a video that some people will enjoy rather than not upload anything at all, especially when it comes to a game like this where it's going to take a lot of work to get through, and I really want to see it through till the end. I want to know what happened to Billy. I want to know what ancient evil is hiding behind these 25 cards. It's just, there's so much mystery in this game. It's so much fun. So hopefully you guys are still enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.